Hello. I, um, I've been working on the website uh, quite a long time, I just realized, from 7 this morning, and it's 2.26 now. I think I stopped at 2. Uh, so that's like 17 hours. Fuck. Well, I was really productive, as is often the case. I start to get ideas about how far I can get. <laughs> And I don't like making a bunch of things and then, ooh, look, it's like almost working and then it doesn't work. So you hammer out that last 10%. I have no idea if it's working as I want. I, I The beginning of a group system, I've created a, a semi-Irish group and a, an Athelist group. Um, so I'll show you the semi-Irish first because there's only five people in it. So you go in here, it, sh it loads, um, and that was so quick it was hard to tell that it loads each of those uh, separately. So what I had done earlier in the day is I, as I got this working, but it, it would go and get the whole group. And this was making for long searches. And if your queries are longer than a second, Google won't distribute them properly. It'll run them, but it won't distribute them. And I finally had a, a, a picture of what Google wants you to do. They want you to have a very Ajaxy uh, page that um, it can make as many queries as it wants. It can even burst the queries. It doesn't seem to mind that as long as each one takes um, less than a second. So I came back and I realized, geez, just five people in a list um, are causing me problems. What am I going to do with this Ethelist list? Because I decided I would uh, find a group, uh, and Gary just happens to have started listing the group uh, in his uh, latest videos. So um, at the site now, if you click on groups, there's two groups. That's the semi-Irish one, and then there's the Ethelist. Now this is everybody Gary has in his list but it's pruned a little bit. It's pruned down to people that have at least seven videos. There were people in that list that had no videos and stuff. And I, I could see why Gary was listing them, but I don't, you know, this is for people that are talking about the subject. Now, some of them, their latest videos are pretty old, but I'll leave them in there. Now I'm gonna expose the, the groups so that the owners of the groups, which in F list will be Gary, um, uh, can you know they can move people in and out of the group you don't have to have uh, a login at my site there's a concept of other sites uh, user and uh, you know I'd be able to use this to track Vimeo and the rest of them as well and uh, if you grab the the videos uh, you know all that it doesn't require that person to be logged in so this is for a, a kind of a subscription feature um, if I load the Ethelus, you'll see probably more of how it's loading. So it gets all of the names and it starts loading them. When it flashes around a bit, because it's sorting them. It's sorting them so that the guy at the top has the most recent video. So this is the way I want to do subscriptions. Okay, so this is all the people in this Ethelus group. And uh, with the person that has the most recent video at the top. So this is all the videos of the person with the most recent video and so on. And this is because in my own subscriptions, you know, like I have AP. I like subscribing to Associated Press. But they put out a lot of videos. And so if you put out a video once a week, you know, the 20 or 7 or whatever it is that uh, API puts out, is going to drown you. Well, with this, I mean, even if the AP subscription was mixed in, which will have a group that, you know, could just be your subscriptions. In fact, I can, if you want uh, to log in, there's ways for me to access that stuff uh, on your behalf and show you your own subscriptions this way. Um, but also, you know, you can group things. You could have a, a news group and uh, and all of the new subscriptions can be in there, and that's what I want. I want to 
I want to be told that there's a new video from someplace like Al Jazeera or API, but I want it to happen when I go and on demand say I'm ready to look at my news subscriptions. So uh, this is how I, I want it to work. So uh, we will expose these features. There's a bunch of these FLS. There was 42 until I cut down about 10 of them, so there's probably 30. So it seems to be working. Pink Moon was the one all day with the latest video, and somebody has a, a new later video. I'm not really sure this is coming up in order, uh, but I think so. Anyway, I got it working, <laughs> so it's not totally broken. Um, let's see, I wonder, is there any new thing? Um, no, that's pretty much it. Might have, in fact, broken some old things, but there you go. I think this is a much better, uh, a much better way to browse the videos for subscriptions. Right, so next we'll have uh, ways to come in and out of groups. Now, as I said, the, the owner will have ownership over their group as far as the site is concerned, but I think an interesting thing is to, to point out that membership of a group is not just a, a cut and dried thing. Uh, there's a status to your membership. Um, so, if the user and the owner have agreed the person's a member, then they're official member. If only the owner has, then they're attributed. And if just some Joe Blow has decided that person belongs in that group, it's just going to be called um, alleged. So the idea is that, you know, a group is not a fixed thing. Yeah, the owner controls what will officially, like by default, be the group. But other people can add uh, someone to the group and then view, you know, the group uh, as as allegedly uh, formed. So, for example, with Semi Urge, I haven't asked any of these people. I've got Gray Tex, myself, Stizor, Das Spook, and Barklord in there. I haven't asked them now. If any of you want to uh, get not be considered in this group, uh, we could debate it. Um, it's not just a matter of you're not officially in the group because you refuse it. Uh, for example, I've used an example, I can make a group of people with uh, pet theories and put very a blast and, you know, uh, who's the other guy I'm trying to think about? Anyway, in there, or you could have a fundamentalist Christians who put Venom Fang X. It doesn't really matter if it's official and they accept the label. You know, we can use this to track uh, people according to, to labels we find useful. So, um, given that, uh, this, the semi-urge idea kind of came along while we were talking about groups and I had to work on a group feature. But, I, you know, I'm, I'm semi-serious about it in the, in the spirit of the semi-urge. And uh, so I'd like to discuss the idea and discuss who thinks uh, it might be an okay label. I think it's an interesting group because I think it's a group of people all that resist being labeled. So uh, they're not going to like it. But then again, if that's what defines you as a part of the group, then it's apt. So I think one of the free things is that it's uh, labels like paint. You know, if, if a label is a chain, that's a bad thing. But if a label is just paint and somebody sprays a little pink paint and says, look, you're pink then uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. You might learn a little bit from the categorization if you just don't take it so seriously. So this is a semi-serious uh, attempt at a, a classification. Um, and I'll admit also it's somewhat opposed to the Ephelis. These two groups are interesting in that I think they really are opposed and could probably debate a great many subjects besides the obvious uh, issues related to natalism. So, all right, the uh, link is tilelab.appspot.com, and the new link is groups, and it does work somewhat. Uh, I think it's working pretty good actually at the moment, but it's 2 30 and I'm not going to really check it. So, uh, user beware. But, um, for example, what you're looking at, you know, this really is the latest. Uh, Great takes video and it really is more recent than my latest video and so on. All right. Uh, cheers.